10 water treatment easy methods. An established goal of World Health Organization and its member states is that all people, whatever their stage of development and their social and economic conditions, have the right to have access to an adequate supply of safe drinking water. Said this, let's go to the 10 shocking water treatment solutions anyone can accomplish to stop water pollution lethal effects everywhere. Number 1. Solar Disinfection Otherwise known as SODIS, is a simple and sustainable water purification technique that harnesses the sun's UV rays. By filling up a plastic bottle with dirty water and leaving it in direct sunlight for a day or under cloudy skies for two days, the SODIS method destroys 99.9% .9 of bacteria and pathogens. The disadvantage is that it does not eliminate chemical, mineral or radiological waste. Number 2. Boiling Disinfection To eliminate the bacteria, it is necessary that water boil from 15 to 30 minutes. It is a simple and economic disinfection method available to most households. The disadvantage here is the concentration loss of dissolved minerals due to the evaporation of water. Number 3. Chlorine Disinfection Chlorination is one of the fastest, most economical and effective methods to eliminate the bacteria contained in water. Generally, three drops per liter are sufficient. After adding the chlorine, it is very important to wait half an hour before drinking the water. Water from the aqueduct has chlorine already, so it can happen that adding more chlorine manifests itself in the flavor, making it very unpleasant. This does not represent health risks. If the treated water has too strong a chlorine taste, it can be made more pleasing by allowing the water to stand exposed to the air for a few hours or by pouring it from one clean container to another several times. Number 4. Homemade Clay Filter It consists of preparing a clay mass and mix it with the rice husks or pineapple peels until obtaining a homogeneous mixture. Then. Model a shape of a water filter, such as a bucket, and then cook it in a traditional pottery oven between 700 and 1000 degrees Celsius until the material hardens. As chemical engineers explain, at this temperature the crop residue decomposes and releases the carbon dioxide. In turn, this dioxide forms microscopic pores in the clay. These pores are really tiny, so they serve to retain the bacteria, viruses, toxic contaminants and metals that water may have, while allowing only clean water to pass through. For more than six months of testing, the clay filter has successfully passed exams in a 99% at the Diarrhea Research Center in Bangladesh, Asia. Scientific tests have shown that the filter retains 99.99% of the pathogenic elements. Number 5. Activated Carbon Filter this method is very efficient to eliminate chlorine excess, bad odor, unpleasant flavors and heavy solids in water, as well as to retain some organic pollutants such as insecticides, pesticides and herbicides. The risk posed by these filters is that they can saturate and contaminate with microorganisms, therefore it is necessary to change them every five months, otherwise the water is no longer safe to drink. To activate the charcoal, you just have to grind it until there is charcoal powder. Add a solution of three parts of water and a part of lemon juice to the powdered charcoal until it is covered and stirred until it becomes a paste. Let the paste stand for 24 hours. Put the paste in a pot and cook it for three hours to activate the charcoal. When it cools, fill a sock or a small bag with activated carbon and use it as a filter for water. Number 6. Filtration through slow sand method. It is a filtering system that traps the larger particles suspended in the water, remaining in the different layers of sand that have different thickness in relation to each other. For this, place a first layer of sand in a container with a tap outlet. Add another fine gravel on top of the first one and then a last one of larger gravel. The water is poured into the container and collected through the tap. The water will pass through all the layers that will retain dirt. Number 7. Filtration by cartridge. It is the last step of the water to achieve its physical polishing. The water passes through a device that contains paper, cardboard or filter cloth with the ability to retain any possible residue suspended in the water of an approximate size of up to 5 microns as in the purifying plants. 
5 microns is equal to the pores of a coffee filter. When the cartridge becomes dirty due to excess suspended matter, just replace it by another one or wash and reuse if possible. Number 8. Xylem Filters A team of scientists has proven the effectiveness of pine wood in water filtration using its xylem, a lignified vegetable tissue conduction that transports fluids from one part of the vascular plants to another. The results published in the journal PLOS ONE indicate that Using three different silent filters, we obtained an almost total filtering of the bacteria capturing 99.9% .9 of them, the authors wrote. The silent filters used in the study appear to capture almost all particles larger than 100 nanometers in diameter, which means that they would also exclude protozoa. Other smaller viruses can get through the filter, but research suggests that other types of wood with smaller pores could filter out these smaller pathogens. To make a homemade water filter, all you have to do is peel the bark of a pine branch and stick it in a tube, sealing the spaces between the twig and the tube with epoxy glue. Each twig filters 4 liters of water per day, enough for one person. Number 9. Distillation. For this method, heat the water to the boiling point and collect the condensed water vapor. The simplest method is to collect the water that condenses in the lid of the container. Many of the contaminants are left behind, especially heavy metals. This method eliminates all minerals, including those that are favorable for human health. This process consumes a lot of energy and is therefore an expensive process. Some harmful elements that easily pass into the gaseous state, such as certain organic chemicals, can bind to condensed water. Therefore, the distillation process cannot eliminate all chemical substances. And finally, number 10, solar oven. It works by filling the black kettle with salty water in the morning and then closing the lid. As the temperature and pressure increase, the steam is forced down through a connecting tube and accumulates in the lid, which acts as a condenser, transforming the steam into fresh water. Many thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and remember, Reduce, reuse, and recycle.